Giving on dollars to man who's a full pickup truck. Gave him the keys and a handshake, and he wished me luck. Said, Don't drive it further than you want, tow it home. I turned the keys, I put Harlow and Guthrie on. You can get it in Can, over to the cutthroat saloon if you could. <laughs> Hey, good afternoon. Hey, I was calling to try and find out uh, who's in charge of booking live music there. Right on. And you get uh, you get solo acts in there. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll give her a call and see if I can sell her on the idea of get me in there in July when I'm coming through. I drive around and, and uh, play music in bars and casinos or. Whoever will hire me from Alaska to Mexico and back. And uh, most of the time, live in the bus. When I'm lucky, live in some beautiful scenic place. And when, when I need to, I got my bedroom right behind the bar, which is pretty convenient. I play the piano. Uh, I do a lot of piano blues, boogie woogie. A lot of my own stuff falls in those categories, kind of the older rock and roll sort of sound. Yeah, maybe even honky tonk. The tour bus, yeah. Well, I inadvertently bought what has become like the quintessential road trip romanticized vehicle. I think over the past 20 years, this particular style, like the old split window bus, represents the 60s and represents like the, the free love, you know, hippie lifestyle. you think about hippies, you think about the VW bus, which encapsulates, you know, all these broader concepts about hippies and drugs and freedom and youth and revolution and the 60s, you know, prioritizing sort of self-discovery and exploration, not wedded to one place. Um, and all of that is sort of tied up with this idea of rejecting 1950s materialism. There we were in the 50s being told all this stuff that turned out to be crap. And so suddenly you left home to find your own way in the world. That was a big deal, you know, in the 60s when that kind of social revolution came along and these buses were used by a lot of the people. They were cheap, they could haul a lot of stuff. You know, you could draw the curtains and hang out and do, you know, smoke the dope or whatever and theoretically not get caught. We were all a bunch of, um, bunch of old hippies, is what we were. Uh, every hippie in the world at that time, it was almost mandatory to have a Volkswagen or a Volkswagen bus. We'd take off for a couple, three months in the wintertime and go surfing or go do this or go do whatever. Um, and that whole culture was originally steeped in love. It became steeped in a lot of other things later on. The whole idea was to feed the world with love. It was neat. I mean, I was really older than most of the hippies. And so I thought, wow, this is great. You know, this is going to change the world. But it didn't. It didn't. <laughs> <laughs>